It's that easy to have access to hundreds of completely free movies without having to pay absolutely anything, but the most important thing is that it's 100% legal. So, there are thousands of movies available with a simple and highly recommended application that even has TV channels, which is definitely worth it if you don't have the possibility to pay. Hello, how are you? Let me welcome to the most complete channel about televisions you'll find on all of YouTube. On this channel, we talk about absolutely everything related to televisions, and today, as we saw in the intro, we're going to see an undoubtedly magnificent, wonderful application that has all the advantages you can imagine. It's completely free, with thousands of movies, and even with many channels. There's a section of channels entirely dedicated to this application, so you have all the entertainment you want, 100% legally. Okay, first, let's start with two very important requirements, okay? So, we begin the tutorial that is necessary for the application to work correctly on your TV. For that, we have to press the little button that looks like a house. We have to go to settings, this is different on every TV, but they'll do it like I'm doing it. We have to go to technical support and software update, and we have to make sure that our TV is updated to the latest version. This is to make sure that there are no inconveniences. As you can see, my TV already has the latest update installed, so there won't be any problem. The second requirement that we need to meet right now is to go where it says device care. We give it a little click there, and the following window will appear, where we can see the amount of space that is available on the hard drive of our TV. This is very important, especially for people who may already have many applications. So, if you don't have enough space, it's quite easy and simple. You simply delete other applications so that you have the available space to download Plex completely for free. Okay, so if you meet the requirements, if you have updated your TV to the latest version, and if you also have enough space, we'll start with the tutorial. We're going to enter our application store, where we'll find it. There are two ways to find the Plex application on our TV. The two most common or typical ways are the first one, which is browsing through the most popular applications, which is also a very good and interesting way. The second way, which I personally recommend, is to click right here where it says Application Search. With the magnifying glass, it will be much easier to find the application, and you won't be wasting time browsing. Okay, this is very simple. Once we're here, as you can see, we just type in Plex, which is P-L-E-X, a very short name that is easy to remember. We click on Complete or Search if it appears differently on your TV, and here we have Plex in its latest version, totally free, a fantastic application. It says we have more than 300 channels and more than 50,000 movies, which I don't know to what extent is true because sometimes there may be many fewer or more. They're constantly adding content, but the most important thing is that further down, we have a few screenshots so you can see what the application looks like here below we have a few screenshots so you can see what the application looks like inside, and I also remind you that the application is 100% legal. We are not harming any type of company or organization. It is 100% legal, and we will respect the copyrights because Plex licenses are totally free, so to speak. But as long as it's within this application, then the installation process will be very simple. You just need to click on Install, and as you can see, it's easy and fast. It has already been installed on my device, and it shows me the option to open it. I click on No, and then we can select the next option, which is called Add to Home which is essentially a shortcut so you can easily access Plex the next time you want to use it, without having to search for it among all your applications. This is very simple, we just need to click and press go, and now Plex will be opened on our smart TV. The menu is quite intuitive, which is what I really like. As you can see, it has just opened, and although it may take a little time, it is quite fast and fluid. I won't lie, this application is not for everyone since some people may like the content while others may not. But most importantly, before you get angry and think that the content is not good, please remember that the application is 100% free. On the left side, we have the menu where we can find absolutely everything, including categories like movies, shows, live TV, and everything else. The first thing you're seeing right now are the channels, as you can see, we have different categories for channels like reality shows, news, entertainment, new releases, new additions, etc. There are many of them, and I can't show them all in one video since there are too many, but let's continue with the next option, which is movies and shows, which is basically what you came for. You will find an infinite amount of videos and movie titles in high quality, all completely free. As I mentioned above, 
you also have the option of categories to better segment the content you're looking for. Sometimes it is also ordered by the most popular or most viewed titles, so believe me, you won't have any problems finding what you want. Lastly, we have the Discover option, which shows new movie titles as they are released. You can see some well-known movies here, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they are available on Plex. It serves more as a review tab, where you can read about the actors and get a brief description of the movie. But I want to let you know that these may not be the movies you can watch on Plex, so don't get your hopes up. This is for people who are looking for more recent movies, you won't find them here, but you will find them in the movies and shows category. So, if this application is useful to you, please subscribe, and if you like this type of video, we'll be posting more similar ones in the future. See you next time.